Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com on an advertising assist today showing you a pretty, 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 pretty boat. Uh, this is a Regal, 1996 Regal 258 Commodore and this one does not disappoint. Um, she is in unbelievable shape for a 96 and just so you guys know, uh, trailer not included. This vessel does not have a trailer but trailers are available available uh, as you guys can see bottom paint I'm just gonna walk through this vessel real quick and I'm just gonna let the video uh, and the pictures of the vessel tell the tale I just took pictures of the engine uh, that also the 5.7 liter uh, Thunderbolt ignition that you could basically eat off of or if you had to eat off of it you could you know I, I don't know if I'd eat off it but we're just giving you guys a quick look um, she's just a beautiful, pretty 258 Commodore for a 1996, extremely well kept. Bottom paint looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I'd have to do that for this season at all. And obviously as in normal spots, you got a couple little goobers right here. Um, but I really wouldn't expect any less. As you take a look on this side, on the starboard side, we got, I know on the port side we're about as clean and neat. Um, my guess is when we came in the dock, this would be the side. Uh, you got a couple little tiny marks there. Overall, just beautiful. I've been through the vessel. Um, has trim tabs. Uh, I'll have to verify if we have working trim tabs. I will we'll just assume they are. And with a Merc Cruiser, stainless steel dual prop. And if you guys could just take a quick look around the back side. Uh, the uh, top is in great shape as well. And um, obviously this vessel, I'm gonna get my shoes off. This vessel has been extremely well maintained. Um, and you're gonna see that when we walk in. I'm just trying to give you guys another view. I'm not gonna pull up the engine hatch because it's just too much, it's hot out here. You guys can see everything just looks great. You know, it's a 1996, it's not a new boat. So, you know, let's just take a quick look as you guys can see back here. Cushions are in great shape. Right here, you got a little bit of a tear. Just so you guys note that for the record. And as far as in over here, we look really good. We got a little bit of a, see this right here, and you guys see that right there. We want you when you come down and look at the vessels, so there's no surprises. So we try and cover all the bases. Carpet's in great shape. Well, we'll call it really good shape. We have a Garmin 540, GPS map 541S. I was out on the deck, no soft spots. And then I want you guys to come on in here with me. Now, first of all, you can see like back in the 70s, we kept the plastic down like on the couches. And, um, you know, the carpet is about as good a shape as you could get. It smells clean. It smells neat in here. Maybe a hint, tiny hint of it, just for the humidity out here. Um, you can guys see here if this has been open. Actually, you can see some water sitting right there from the rain. Um, but overall, let me just sit back, you guys. This is just a beautifully clean cabin. Remember, this is a 1996. Uh, as you can see, we have a cassette player. Uh, so bring your cassettes and, um, you know, everything just looks good. You know, microwave, you guys don't need me to get into the goofy details. Just take a look at this. I don't know if this is original or been redone, but who cares? Um, they're just, it's pretty. So, and I'm going to just give you guys a quick look because I want you to come to the vessel. We do not want you to have any surprises. So just so you guys can see, I mean, this is clean. I don't know if this has been completely redone in here. It may have been. I find it hard to believe you could keep this this clean um, and this plush for that many years. Um, but hey, it's possible. Based on the condition of what I saw the engine in. Um, wow, look at this. Ooh, man. You can definitely sleep a bunch of people on this vessel. But yeah, beautiful. 1996. You guys have seen it as I'm seeing it. Uh, this is just vessel just came in and, and went through uh, its inspections. And, um, you know, as always, we recommend a survey. Bring a mechanic. Do what you got to do. Got a marine toilet plumb. But overall, sorry about the... Uh, 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 shore power cord, but that also tells us something that we have shore power. 
let's just take a quick look over here okay and I'm showing shore power microwave outlets I do not see a generator and let me just take a quick look at something macerator refrigerator cabin lights head I don't see AC and I do not see a generator but um, we can verify that but based on what I'm seeing here I do not see those items so uh, but then again um, you know I could be wrong but based on our initial indications here I'm not showing definitely not a generator um, so you know you just do not have AC in this vessel which feels like it would be right 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 now anyway Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com on an advertising assist with a beautiful 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 uh, 1996 258 Commodore and you do not have a trailer with this vessel personal items as seen not included and you know what I just want to do this because we're here and let me just I'll tip this carpet up just so you guys can see what I'm talking about we gotta close this stay closed take a look you guys see what I'm seeing I mean it is you could it is beautiful ah, smells good there we go 5.7 LX V8 Thunderbolt ignition uh, you know you're good to go anyway Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com I hope this helps you out and um, just come on down take a look and let's see what we can get figured out on this one get it back on the water you guys have a great and safe boating day